Hey you guys, this is Moon here from Affiliate Phoenix and I'm actually taking a relaxed walk and this is going to be a longer video so just a heads up. So, you know, people often get stuck with not knowing what niche they should select for their blog or niche site, okay? And that is something that you just need to explore and take your time with, do some brainstorming. So, I thought it'd be fun to walk around and see what niches or, or and what niches I come up with. So, let's see, let me go back. Look at these beautiful trees. Okay, this is why I love San Diego. Let's see, let's see, let's see. And, you know, everybody, it seems like everyone starting out wants to start a pet site, fishing site, just like niches that are heavily populated, which is fine if that's your passion, like if you love cats and that's what you're hell bent on starting a site about, then that's what you should do. But let's just take a look. Okay, that's one of my favorite yards. So that's why I'm walking there for ideas. I'm putting myself a bit on the spot. But let me show you the moon. It is beautiful. And hey, could there be a website about the moon? <laughs> I don't know. Is there? Does it exist? I know that there's got to be websites about like the cosmos, the, the universe. But I wonder if there's something specific to moon or a particular planet you can explore. I don't know. I would have to check that out and see how many people search for information like this. But I do love topics like that, right? Growing up, I, I, I was just enamored with the planets and all this information that would be in those library books that I had checked out about the universe. So this is one of my favorite yards I walk by. And the neighbor, this neighbor invests a lot of time in his yard and I can appreciate that. So, you know what? Plants. Are you an arborist? That would be perfect. Plants, trees, maybe specific plants and trees native to a state. Ooh, okay, and please keep in mind that I'm just rambling off the top of my head. This is just how you explore things. I see a dog and even though I love dogs, I mean, I'd rather have a site on cats, but even then there's, I don't know if I can commit to that, right? So, so far we have the moon, we have plants and trees and flowers, and then we have like backyard gardening type of niche, which is, I, I realize it's super popular. Oh, <laughs> doggies. Um, and then we have bird feeders right there. So how about something about birds? That could be a niche in its own or a very specific bird or bird watching that could be something okay so are these prank mantis or grasshoppers I, I i don't even know they're super cute okay so you could have a site about grasshoppers or insects frogs or, no that's not a frog that's a lizard i think <laughs> but there, there's just so many ideas and it's just this one man's yard and he's gonna think I'm creeping on it <laughs> but I'm not he just I, I love this yard so much and you know we I'll slow down and talk to him from time to time and he loves he loves it and, and invests a lot of time in it but anyways so we have a few things there we we kind of talked about or I came up with and you you need to allow your brain to just kind of wander and that's that's how you start exploring what you might be into or what you are into right you make a list and then say yes 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 oh yeah i love this and i have experience in this and this is what my blog should be about but if you don't allow your brain to float then you're never gonna you know give yourself that chance to really think deep about these things now, what else could there be? I don't know. I just see a lot of apartments and trees and and doggies being walked. So I'll do another session of this when I'm on the other side of the block. 